AltaCast, or formerly known as EdCast, is a free open source encoder for Windows that can work as an encoder with WinApp or as standalone software. It supports both Shoutcast and Icecast servers and can broadcast to a number of servers and coders at the same time. To install it, you just need to download and set up three files. First is the AltaCast software itself which comes in two versions, standalone or as an encoder for Winamp Player or FUBAR Player. The second file is a C++ runtime library. Both these files can be downloaded from the AltaCast.com website. The third file is the MP3 encoder. This encoder can be downloaded from rarewares.org website. In this tutorial we will explain how to work with AltaCast standalone version with an MP3 encoder. First, download the standalone version and install it on your machine. Second, install the C++ 2010 runtime libraries. And third, download the zip file, unzip it and copy the lame underscore enc.dll file inside AltaCast directory. Usually, the path is like this. C partition, program files x86, AltaCast, or C partition, program files, AltaCast. After all is installed and set, it is possible to open the AltaCast software and start broadcasting. First step, log in to listen to my radio dashboard and turn on the stream server. The second step, launch the program and click on the Add Encoder button, then double click on the new encoder line. An encoder configuration window will open. In the window that will open, please fill the fields as they appear on the Stream Details column on Listen to My Radio Dashboard. First, choose the server type, Shoutcast v1, Shoutcast v2, or Icedcast depending on your server type. Enter hostname in the server IP field, port in the server port field, and stream password in the encoder password field. Mount point should be left blank for the Shoutcast server, but for the Icecast server, please fill slash stream. Be sure that you fill encoder type as MP3 lame, and in the top bitrate field, fill the preferred bitrate in kbps, 128 kbps for a high quality stream, 64 kbps for a medium quality stream, and 32 kbps for a low quality stream. Stream quality depends on your and your listeners' internet speed quality. After all fields are filled, just click OK and now you can click on the connect button and see if the software succeeds to connect to listen to my radio server. This is how the software should look like after the successful connection. Note that AltaCast broadcasts the sound card output. However, you can change the source in the live recording section to microphone, mixer, line in. Pressing the microphone button, you can broadcast talking. Since AltaCast only broadcasts the sound card output input, it misses the metadata such as a song name and an artist name. For metadata, click on the button Edit in the Metadata section. In the window that opens, you have the option to fill the metadata manually, use some external metadata URL, or in many cases grab song name from the window class of the player you are using. Just look in the checkbox and click on Find Window to choose from a list the window that contains the song title. That's it. Happy streaming!